What it up, y'all? This is Denzel B. Ren signing on with you guys and girls. So, I just finished watching, which you see right here, my favorite female hero, Black Widow's own solo film, um, which came out this year of 2021, of course, stuff like that. But I did watch it on my 77 inch Dolby Atmos 4K Dolby Vision, you know, visual stunning on my TV. Beautiful. I watch it on Dolby Cinema. That's my personal AMC and stuff like that. Um, I'm here to talk to you about my review of Black Widow and this is going to be a non-spoiler talk of the film. So, what did I think about the Black Widow film? From beginning, it had a great, great beginning, great start, stuff like that. It's actually a pretty good film, actually. It's a good film. Um, good film, fun um, actioneer, you know, like, like each and every Marvel film and stuff. It, it had it all. Um, the cast was great and everything. Um, who else? Uh, like I said, Scarlett Johansson, Black Widow was great. Um, her sister was great as well too. She was also a dynamic theme for me, pop out in the film. Um, Red Guardian, I enjoyed. Um, he had his little, he had <laughs> his little sense of humor things to, you know, kick off the little curve and stuff like that. You know, like little Marvel sense of humor, stuff like that. Rachel Wise, which I haven't seen act in a while. That was a young, she, she played in the Mummy films, stuff like that. She was great too and all that other stuff. Um, let me see, what else? Um, the cast did great, they did an excellent job and stuff like that. Um, the action in this film, in my opinion, was more brutal than I expected, like like extremely brutal. Uh, there were certain elements of the film that was kind of dark. I was like, wow, that was pretty dark. Uh, pretty Well, Marvel has some dark things, stuff like that, but this had like a brutal dark, you know, stuff like that. Um, what else in the film that was good? Um, Taskmaster action was was great and stuff like that. Uh, uh, um, he was great. He, this Taskmaster felt like he was a Terminator. You know, like like anytime this dude came on the scene, um, he felt like he was a, like a walking killing machine and stuff like that. And you know what? I feel like interesting that it is a good competition with Black Widow because you know Taskmaster he imitates each and every one of your moves and stuff like that so against fighting against Black Widow that's a good challenger run so I thought that was a good choice that uh, Marvel Studios has chosen for that um which, which villain he was a villain um yeah overall if you hear the reviews stuff like that uh with certain points of the film stuff like that don't let the reviews like some of the views uh, like get you down for seeing the film because it's still an enjoyable fun time but the question is is it the best like you see in a commercial oh, is it the best Marvel film no not absolutely not the best film um there were a couple of um little hiccups you know that I thought that was yeah you know if one of y'all know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about but like I said this is not non-spoiler um there 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 is one which I could say that um, Taskmaster is glorious. <laughs> Put it that way. The cast was great. Um, yeah, there was like a couple of, you know, like like in every movie, you know, it has to have his little slow parts, you know, so it can have a little character development and, and build up, you know, to all that other stuff. And um, yeah, but overall, but once you get into that stuff like that, it has to build up to see what the character's been there, what what she's been through, and stuff like that. And just to give y'all a heads up, this takes place after Civil War. So this film, which I would say this should have been put, you know, in the Phase Three kind of slate instead of Phase Four, you know, because like I said, it takes place before Infinity War and between Civil War and stuff like that. But the way how certain scenes were 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 shot stuff like that you'll see why you know in the in a certain future you know how it led up to infinity war and it's like ah okay i see where they're going with that and what she's been doing to civil war and you know they're always making their reference of you know what she's been dealing with you know with the avengers and all that stuff etc after civil war so yeah so basically this is an after civil war theme the funny thing is i'm watching all my mcu films during that time, so this is in the right timeline that I'm watching. I just finished watching Civil War uh, a couple of days ago and then leading up to Black Widow, so it made sense for me, so like that. That's my expectation. Um, will you see little hints of her in her red room? Yes, you'll see a little bit of hints of her in, in the past, you know, the red room, what the red room is, and, and her little dark past, and what she'd be dealing with, and all that stuff, and all the um, female 
um, Black Widows and all that stuff. Yeah, but um, overall, I give this movie a solid B minus. You know, um, where like I said, it was a couple of hiccups and stuff like that. Um, some choices I, I understand without spoiling it. Some of y'all would kind of semi eh, like eh, it was it was okay and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I can't say it without spoiling it, but um, I thought the choices were iffy. I could describe the choices like this way, um, out of all the MCU movies. Um, I would describe his choice like a Iron Man 3-ish villain-ish, but in the right way, but mm, yeah. Yeah, until, I don't know, somewhere in the near future, they may course correct it. If y'all get what I'm saying without spoiling it, all right. Uh, so yeah, so uh, yeah. But overall, um, great action, great cast. All the cast was great and stuff like that. I love the uh, um, black uh, Black Widow's um, sister chick and all that stuff. Uh, Red Guardian sense of humor. Um, just a good time and stuff like that. Just don't expect you know too much like a high expectation. Like oh, I gotta see and stuff like that. No, it's it's a very good Marvel film. Like a. Um, I, was, I, was, I wasn't gonna say Captain Marvel, but no, not like Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel was good, but better, you know, stuff like that. Black Widow's better, but um, like around in that range, you know, and stuff like that. But good time, I enjoyed it. I give it a solid B minus. If you want to know my number rating system, that'll be for me, um, like a three point five out of five or four out of five, you know, stuff like that. Uh, the story was good and everything, but I enjoyed the action in this period, period, stuff like that. But like I said, it takes place through Civil War. And Infinity War, and you will enjoy it. And if you're a Marvel fan, of course you enjoy it. Um, post credit scenes, yes, still stay for the post credit scenes because it's setting up for an upcoming TV show. Um, yeah, so like I gotta say, um, it was that was cool and stuff like that. The ending, post credit endings were cool and great and stuff like that, and leading up towards you know where it was going to. Yeah, but overall, it's a solid, great movie. I had fun with it, have a blast with it. And uh, yeah, just enjoy yourself, you know, it's, it's Marvel and stuff like that. So can't wait to see what Marvel's gonna have for us in the near future and stuff like that. So that was my trying so hard not to spoil, <laughs> non-spoiler talk of um, Marvel Studios' uh, Black Widow 2021 film. What do you guys and girls have thoughts about the Black Widow film? Comment below and please let me know. Also, if you enjoyed my reviews about it, what I had to say about it, click like, subscribe, and share more videos we posted each and every other week. So with that being said, this is Denzel B. Ren, sign out. <sighs> Wait, with a bang, ha <laughs> ha, woo, all right.